If you know me, you know that I have a smart home. And the worst thing that could happen to somebody with a smart home, especially somebody with a smart home with a smart home themed Airbnb suite, is for the internet to completely be wiped out. Hi everybody, it's Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, your DIY tech guy, telling you a little story about something that happened to me that really had me stressed out. Something that almost completely wiped a lot of money from my bank account. And that was my internet going down completely for one week. Let's put it this way. I could not afford to have my internet put down for a week. And here's what happened. So my ISP provider, Tech Savvy here in Canada, it's like a third party uh, internet provider. Not one of the big three, not Telus, not Bell, not Rogers. It's the lower tier ones. And what they do is they buy wholesale connections from the big three. In my case, it's TELUS. So I got this TELUS line coming to my house, but I'm paying tech savvy for the service. And the reason I do that is because I get faster service for a cheaper price. It's like a little, you know, those in the know know how to get cheaper uh, internet. Here's the problem. The service kind of can be wonky, especially when you're starting off or, or anything. But once you're in it, it, it's great. Now, here's what happened with me. I tried to upgrade my internet package. I phoned them up. I was like, you know what? I got a smart home. I was pretty low on the internet speeds. I was like, I, I, I want a faster speed, you know, being proactive essentially. Now, what happened was the guy's like, all right, no problem. It'll be activated on this day. But the I, I tell us guy has to come and do the switch because it's really tell us lines. So on that day, he goes, that's when your internet goes up. Bro forgot to tell me that I need a new modem. So that day comes up, I wake up and the internet's down. So I was like, oh snap. So typically troubleshooting 101, you go and reset everything, right? Turn it, unplug it, plug it back in. Didn't work. Still wasn't going down. Then I realized, wait a minute, today's the day that I'm supposed to have faster internet. So I call tech savvy. I'm like, yo, what's going on? And then we're going back and forth. And then he's like, oh snap, you need a new modem. And you should have got a new modem when they converted you. And so this bro did not tell me. And now I'm in this like rut. So I'm like, okay, well send me a new modem. What, what kind of modem? And it's like the specific type of modem. He's like, we're going to mail it to you. I'm like, all right, mail it to me overnight. And he goes, no, it's going to take like five days. So essentially like a week, five business days. So for one week, I got no internet. And here's the problem. I got this Airbnb suite. It's a high tech theme, smart home themed. Everything is run by voice and it needs internet. So I was about to call Airbnb and wipe everything off. And then I had this like crazy idea. I'm like, wait a minute. My parents live like two houses down. They got internet. I got these power line adapters. I wonder if I can use power line adapters and a super long extension cord and just go through backyards and get internet into my house using my parents. And lo and behold, it worked. And so I wanna show you exactly what I did to get internet back into my home. So here's how I'm getting internet at my home. I'm in my parents' backyard. This is the sugar shack. It's a little man cave that I built years ago and modified for my dad after I moved out. But the main thing is over here. See, see this outlet? From this outlet, the internet is coming from my parents' living room. And it's going into this extension cord, which is going outside. Now this extension cord continues going right into the backyard. And this is my neighbor's yard over here. Okay, now I'm in my yard and the extension cord comes all the way out over here, comes across into this fence, comes all the way up into here, then goes around into my greenhouse. Wires coming here, it's going into my greenhouse, which is coming over here. Now this is the other end of the power line adapter that I was talking about. You can see there's an ethernet cord. So that ethernet signal is coming all the way through going into my router, which is the Netgear Orbi. That's also connected to this base station for my wireless security cameras. All of that is powered inside my greenhouse. And look, I already got a head start for growing all my uh, leafy green vegetables. But essentially this system right here is how I'm getting 
Wi-Fi or internet connection at home while I await for a new modem to arrive. But at least I'm giving Wi-Fi for my Airbnb suite, which is right over there. Now you can see from that video, it actually worked. And now what I did is I did put my router and stuff into my greenhouse. I had to move everything out, but thankfully I have a mesh system. So more of the story, the Airbnb guests had their internet. That was my main concern. I could have lived without it. The little sugar shack in my parents' backyard, well, I had to sacrifice that internet for a week. I actually bought my dad a bottle of vodka just because for that week where he didn't have internet to watch TV inside the sugar shack. But I was able to restore internet. And I got to tell you, people always ask me, like, how'd you get so handy? It's because of stuff like this. Crazy things happen. I'm stressed out. Got to find a solution. And I get my A-team on. I get my MacGyver on. And I just try to find a solution. And thankfully, in this one, it worked. I hope you like this video. It's kind of a weird, like, storytelling kind of thing. But it's a true story, bro. A true tech story of troubleshooting 101 that actually worked. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave any kind of comments about some crazy internet stories that you've had. I, I live for this stuff. I really do. And I hope you had a really happy ending like I did. Once again, my name is Andy Barrar. Handy Andy. Don't forget to hit up my website, handyandymedia.com, for any tech, DIY, product reviews, gardening, you name it, it'll be there. Talk to you again. Bye for now.